The basis of human existence is knowledge and knowledge is a bundle of creativity, courage and righteousness put together. This encapsulation of knowledge by Dr. A.B.J. Abdul Kalam, former president of India, set the tenor of his talk to the students of City Montessori School. The World Unity Convention Center Auditorium of CMS Girls Degree College, Kanpur Road, was packed with students from all the branches of CMS, principals and teachers, eager to imbibe all that India's most distinguished scientist who has had the unique honor of receiving honorary doctorates from 30 universities and the country's three highest civilian honors Padma Bhushan, Padma Vibhushan and Bharat Ratna, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. We are always so one seed. We are a flower, so one garden. We are all leaves, so one tree. One planet, please. One people, please. One planet, please. One people, please. Ever genial and courteous, Mr. Kalam took a lot of interest in the award-winning CMS Republic Day tableau. The lamp lighting ceremony. An overwhelmed Mr. Gandhi in his address said, Most Honorable Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, former President of India, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear children. It is an honor and our proud privilege to welcome our beloved Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam here today on behalf of 35,000 children and 3,000 teachers and other workers of CMS and their parents. I have been very inspired by Honorable Dr. Kalam with our Dar es Salaam speech in 2004 when as President of India you said that no country of the world should have veto powers. Number two, the world today needs a new world order system. Mr. Kalam was in his elements, storytelling, interacting with children and pledges. In his grandfatherly style, Dr. Kalam began his address with the moving story of a street child Mario Capacci, who went on to become a Nobel Prize winning scientist for his path-breaking work in genetics. I would like to greet um, uh, our respected uh, Jagdish Gandhiji and uh, his, his institution of City Montessori School really adored Lucknow. It has become a great uh, institution. So friends, I am very happy to meet all of you and uh, you are, uh, how many of you want to ask me questions? Now, <clears throat> I am going to tell you one story. It does not matter who you are. You repeat with me. It does not matter who you are. I am going to give you a story of the a street boy how he has become a noble art. Okay. A street boy. How he has become a noble art. That's a story. His name is Maria Capacci. He is an Italian boy. Maria Capacci had a difficult and challenging childhood. For nearly four years, Capacci lived with his mother in a chalet in the Italian Alps. When World War II broke, his mother along with other Bohemians 
was sent to Dutch as a political prisoner and despite her arrest by the Gestapo she had sold all her possession given the money to friends to help to raise her son on their farm in the farm the boy has to grow own wheat harvest take it to the mill to be ground then the money which his mother left for him ran out at the age of 4 and half years he started sometimes living in the street sometimes joining gangs of other homeless children children sometimes living in orphanages most of the time hungry he spent the last year in the city of emilia hospitalized for malnutrition and the friends finally his mother located him in a hospital and uh, in a difficult situation and took the child to america to join his uncle and aunt Maria Capacci started his third grade schooling afresh. He did not find it interesting and changed into science, became a mathematics graduate in 1961 with a double major in physics and chemistry. Then he started liking molecular biology. And then Dr. Watson, James Watson, who is James Watson? James Watson, who is he? The he discovered double helix very good who advised him james watson advised him that he should not be bothered about small things since such pursuits are likely to produce only small answers his objective was to gene targeting kapachi maria kapachi uh, famous for gene targeting the experiment started in 1980 by 1984 kapachi had clear success three years later he applied the technology to mice in 1989 he developed the first mice with targeted mutations the technology created by dr kapachi allows researchers to create specific gene mutations anywhere they choose in the genetic code of a mouse by manipulating gene sequences in this way researchers are able to mimic human disease conditions on animal subjects what the research of mario capacci means for human health nothing short of amazing his work with mice could lead to a cure for alzheimer's disease or even cancer the innovation in genetics that maria capacci achieved won him the nobel prize in 2007 nobel or capacci's life is indeed reveals all of you say we are you ready are you ready yes, sir. when you wish upon a star when you wish upon a star makes no difference who you are understood understood okay now friends i want to of the in this school you are all there when you go out of this school city montessori school what you are carrying with you what you will carry with you knowledge okay now what is knowledge i am going to define the knowledge ready ready knowledge is equal to creativity plus, plus the courage, courage plus, plus right